Well, you all have heard of the African diaspora, right? Of course you have, because this channel is called African Diaspora News Channel. Okay, but have y'all heard of the Confederate diaspora? Well, if you said no, I didn't know what it was either until recently. Well, there was a study done by five researchers from uh, five different universities in regards to the Confederate diaspora, and they learned that during and after the Civil War, Southerners, they migrated as far as to the West, right? Like to California. And with that migration, they took racism and all the other things that they learned basically to hate black people with them. They also said via looking through uh, the census data that uh, from that point in 30 years beyond, people got into government positions, police officers, and you know, influential roles. And with those Confederate attitudes, they spread it and they taught uh, their children and their children's children and other people that lived in the places outside of the South how to be racist and they spread systemic and institutional racism that of course affected uh, non-enslaved uh, black people. Cause you know, everybody was not in slavery, right? But those attitudes affected those people who lived in the West. And so of course, a lot of people say, well, California wasn't a slave state. No, it was not per se in that it participated in, you know, the slave trade, but they allowed those uh, Confederate Southerners to come there with their attitudes. And in some cases when slavery was going on, they allowed them to bring their slaves with them. And so that's another case as to why we as black people all over the United States deserve reparations because yeah, that was in the South, but that attitude, and they also said the KKK, you know, cause there's a lot of places like Denver and it, inside of Denver, they didn't have uh, clan roots, but after the migration of the Confederate diaspora, if you will, uh, Denver became a big hub for KKK activity. And where I'm from in California and not too far from where I live in Fontana, they have uh, big time KKK activity as well. Again, the Klan was not prevalent in places uh, like the West, but it is now. And so they attribute that again to the Confederate diaspora. And even uh, in 2023, those attitudes are everywhere. And in some places in the United States that are not in the South, you sure would, you know, swear that you were in the South due to uh, the racism that goes on. So now you learn something new for all the systemic racism and institutional racism all over the United States. You can blame the Confederate diaspora. It exists. So, hmm. Y'all tell me what you think of this. And for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.